of uh, this particular story, and this is to do with Zimbabwe. And uh, there was news and uh, pictures doing rounds yesterday of uh, tankers that were basically um, uh, heading towards the capital and surrounding the state house. But according to a statement that is now on the BBC website, and uh, this is a developing story, so of course we're going to keep you posted on it. But what they say is that Zimbabwe military has read out a statement, and I understand they have taken over the Z Z uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, ZBC, and uh, basically making a statement and saying that, uh, using uh, the ZBC, uh, saying that it has taken action to target criminals. And this action being uh, the uh, military artillery that is being seen uh, leaving the barracks. However, uh, it is said that the military takeover of government and President Robert Mugabe is safe, that it was not a military takeover and that Robert Mugabe is safe. Heavy gunfire and artillery was had in northern suburbs of the capital Harare early on Wednesday. Zimbabwe's envoy to South Africa, Isaac Moyo, earlier dismissed talks of a coup saying that the government was intact. The statement read by the military came hours after soldiers overran the headquarters of ZBC. A man in military fatigue um, fatigues said, we wish to assure the nation that His Excellency the President and his family are safe and sound, and their security is guaranteed. And he continued with the statement, adding that we are only targeting criminals around him who are committing crimes uh, that are causing social and economic suffering in the country. As soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect the situation to return to normalcy. So we're waiting to see which criminals are these that have necessitated the pulling out of tankers from the barracks. But there you go. That's the statement made by their military official. And we shall continue to keep our 